Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up 91, NASDAQ up 28, S&P's up 10 and a half. Uh, let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. In fact, this week he was doing uh, double duty. He was filling in for Larry, who's been in Hong Kong. Larry's on his way back uh, as we're speaking right now. And, of course, Basil's got a great newsletter. He has the opening call, uh, opening call, bottom line, great newsletter. Now, he's going to be doing a uh, subscriber workshop, folks. It is next Wednesday, April 3rd. Yes, you heard that correct. April 1st is going to be Monday. April 3rd is going to be 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, bottom line is that the title is Anything Goes, uh, the stock market's key phase. And there's no doubt uh, this market right now is trying to figure out to, uh, what anything goes uh, is up, down, all around. What Basil's going to be talking about is the current state of the market right now, how to read the uh, technical tools that he uses each and every day, his outlook for 2019 2020. 2020, oh my God, unreal. Uh, the current risk versus the potential rewards inside the market. And then we're going to be talking about the FANG stocks. Now, all these workshops, folks, they're totally archived. In fact, Basil, uh, as you subscribe, so the way you do this, you just go to the opening call, you're going to hit the opening call, uh, you hit subscribe, you can get Basil's newsletter for one month for $128, you can get it for six months for $5.95, that's a savings of $179, you can get it for a year for $9.95, that's a savings of $5.41, and in that context with all of those folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so uh, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, we finally got a little warmth here. In fact, it oh, turns good. out to be quite, yeah, very nice. Makes to sense. Do that. Makes sense. I know. I, and you know, it's wicked is that, you know, folks, it's gorgeous in Florida. I mean, and it's been gorgeous here since, you know, the, the summer went a little long this year, since, uh, let's say, November for sure. And as you guys get that, we're like, oh, uh, we, 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 got, we got about another seven weeks left, and then the heat's coming in. So. We got to enjoy it. It's 75 here today, Basil. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, and yeah, rub it in. Okay, rub I know, it in. <laughs> I know. Okay, so, hey, so, tell us what we're looking is, at here. We're looking at the Dow, as always. I look at on the left is the daily, in the middle is the weekly, on the right is the monthly. I expanded that a little bit so that you yeah. can see what's happened. So this is a very strange period in that you've had some areas that have really that are normally market related that for instance transports plummeted if, if you're a dow theorist you're looking at the scratching head and say how come the how come the markets are closer to the all-time highs than lows um, when the transports has been clobbered well there are a whole bunch of reasons and within sectors i've been talking about this on my show for a little while within sectors even you've got some stocks that are already doing well and the same sector, others have not. So that's really important because it, it, it allows you to look at stocks in a way that says maybe there is a fundamental story, but if there's a technical story, that really helps you. And that's what we're going to be looking at on Wednesday night. What, what stocks have held up well? What stocks do we own for subscribers? We've got a portfolio that, we, that we're holding. We've taken profits in some. Uh, which I want to keep others. We've got small positions in some, and I'd like to even add to them on pullbacks. They've done really well. Some have been up to over 20%. Um, in fact, I even had an option trade uh, over the last couple of days. I'd had one earlier in the year where we took about a 40 to 60% profit in the Dow running to, uh, up. So I decided that I wanted to go into Boeing because Boeing, even though it's been, uh, it's had a tremendous decline, I'll just put the chart up here because it relates to what we're going to be talking about uh, on, on Wednesday night. Boeing has gone from 446, and of course it's tragic news, and it, it goes right all the way down to 361. So I looked at it closely and I said, you know, it's held really well considering the amount of uh, um, bad publicity. I'm not thinking about lawsuits or anything. I'm just looking at the stock. So I decided that we would get the 375 call and we'd get it for in a week's time. So we got it at a really good price. We got it at five. And I said, if it goes to eight, we want to take our profit. And if it goes to 10, we can take, take profits from that. 
but it went to six very quick uh, from five to eight and we took the 60 percent profit and we took uh, the rest of today because it wasn't running all that Sweet. well i just wanted to get out and it was just purely a trade someone asked me is this a doubt is this a market related i said no completely separate this is using other tools but i wanted to show that you can do things in this market, but you, you've got to have some technical veracity. So here we go. You're looking at the Dow, and the way I'm looking at it, and I'll be discussing this um, coming up, and this is going to be quite important for me, coming up in the uh, webinar, where we are, and it's just real simple. We've got these arch formations in the Chapman Wave. You're always looking at the arch formation. can turn out to be a lowercase h. If it takes out the left side low, in this case, the first one will be 25,372, in the next few days, and if that's taken out, 25,252 20, 25, is absolutely key to hold. Why? Because if it takes that out, it's starting to impact the weekly. And what I wanted to say is the reason why this webinar is so important is that all the weekly charts except the Russell 2000, the IWM, all of them have held really well in their weekly charts, even with a spectacular run to the upside. Look at this. The MACD is good. The stochastics at 87%. So I wanted to point that out. And then tomorrow we get the close of the month. I'll be doing that probably in my show tomorrow. I'll be looking at what we what what the monthly chart, the March closing price, the candle looks like, what it relates to, and how we're going to look at the markets going forward. I still see new highs for the for the Dow this year. This is a very important phase because what I'm going to be looking at is within the context of the, the, the statement, anything goes, it really harkens back to the 1930s when Cole Porter wrote that song and he spoke about four-letter words, he spoke about everything you could think of. And we're in that period right now. And that period interesting. says... Interesting, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because the market invariably reflects the mood of the country. But because of the press and because of um, the, this dislike by so many people for the president, it, the market gets nothing, no credit whatsoever. But this is still a mega bull market. You still see um, jobless numbers at the lowest levels. There are some really good things that are going on. I want to talk about that. I want to put it into a relationship of where we've been in different decades and why I still think this is really positive for the market looking out. If you go to a party or any gathering, nobody's talking about stocks. No one's saying, oh, I made a killing there. I mean, when last did you hear somebody say to you, oh, I made a killing the other day? Uh, it's very, it, maybe yes. it's selective. Maybe they've had some the gold stocks. You, you're the expert in the gold stocks. So maybe they got them at a low price and they had a good percentage. But that's not the market. The market is much bigger. Right. So I'm looking at this and I think we still have to go into a phase where everyone, not here, but around the world, is talking about the American stock market. I'll be talking about that Wednesday week and we're trying be to prepare. Cool. Because that's going to yeah. take a while. <laughs> uh, oh, it's it, it, so yeah. right. I mean, you know, you, you just don't hear it, folks. Okay, that's the bottom line. Is that? Uh, yeah, and, and, and you've been in the market a long time. I've yeah. been in the market a long time. Whenever do we make any major talk without everybody talking about whatever it is that that was going to new highs? Yeah, no doubt. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into featured content. You see the opening call right there. You hit subscribe. We're going to get you a great newsletter. You can call Balasa 12 to 1 every trading day. And, of course, next Wednesday, get you and see the great webinar. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks.